2021 SMT Stanford Math Tournament. X and Y are two complex numbers and X squared plus Y squared equal to 31. X cubed plus Y cubed equal to 154. And we should find the maximum real value of X plus Y. Okay, for solving this problem, if I rewrite the main equation x squared plus y squared equal to 31 and x cubed plus y cubed equal to 154. For solving these types of problem, when for example it wants x plus y, one useful and important changing variable is to consider x plus y sum as s and x y as product and try to write all things in terms of sum and product s and p this is so much useful there are around 40 50 important ideas and useful ideas if you want to learn them in each topics algebra combinatorics number theory and geometry if you want to learn them, feel free to send a message to my whatsapp number in the description so let's work on this we should use here i have x squared y squared so I should relate it to x plus y and x y. How I can do that? I should use famous identity. The identity is x plus y squared equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. So if I want to use that, I've moved the identity here. So I can say left hand side x plus y is s by the definition here. It is s squared equal to x squared plus y squared equal to 31. So it will be 31 plus 2 times xy, which xy is p. So we can say plus 2p. Now, I want to work on x cubed plus y cubed. We have famous identity that it is x cubed plus y cubed equal to x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared you should memorize this identity and if you apply it here x plus y is s x squared plus y squared here we know it is 31 from assumption so it will be this part it will be 31 minus xy is minus p product here so x cubed plus y cubed equal to 154. So we conclude 154 equal to 31s minus, if we expand this, 31 times s minus s p. Okay, let's see what we have now. We want to find s, the problem says. The first thing we have. Let me call it is first identity, second identity. From first one, I can say s squared equal to 31 plus 2p. From second one, I have 154 equal to 31s minus sp. Okay, so I want to get rid of p. I use, mm, I can, I use replacement. From first one, because I want to calculate p, I take 31 to left hand side. It will be s squared or subtract 31 from both sides equal to 2p, then divide both sides by 2. We will have s squared minus 31 all over 2 equal to p. Now I replace this p in second equation. 154 equal to 31s minus s times p which I replace here as squared minus 31 over 2 I've used here. Now, I multiply, to get rid of the denominator, I multiply both sides by 2. Then, let's see what we have. It will be 280308 equal to 62s minus s times s squared minus 31. Now, in second line, if we expand 
30862s minus s cubed plus 31s squared. Now I want to take all things to left hand side. So s cubed and minus 31s squared minus 62s plus 308 equal to 0. Okay, let me just correct this one. S minus s cubed uh, plus 31s. And let's correct this part. It will be s cubed. Take to left hand side minus. So 31 squared, we should erase it. And this part. So let's correct this part. It will be s cubed minus. So 62 plus 31 is 93. <clears throat> plus 308 equal to 0. Okay, so here we have function with degree 3, cubic function. Now, our goal is to solve this. The most useful idea for cubic function is to at least find one root. If we want to check, for example, S0 doesn't work, plus minus 1. If you check minus, it will be minus. It will be plus plus. So minus 1 is too small, and plus 1 also doesn't work easily, you can check. If you check plus minus 2, plus minus 3, first you can at least check to plus minus 6. If you check plus minus 4, in 4, you can find one root by checking. You should check 1, 2, 3, 4, for example, after that minus 1, or plus minus 1 easily, you can reject many of them. So if you check 4, 4 cubed. Minus 33, 93 times 4 plus 308. Let's check it. It's 64, it's minus 12, 1, 372 plus 308. If you calculate easily, it is 0. So 1, 4 is 1 root. So we can say s equal to 4 is root. Now, we have important identity or theorem that then we can conclude s minus 4 is one factor. I want to create s cubed here. So I place s squared. s cubed minus 4 s squared. I don't have s squared here. So I place plus 4 s to get rid of s squared. Plus 4 s squared. And then I have then negative 16 s. I want to reach minus 93 s. So if I want to reach from negative 16. To 93, then I should place, okay, I should place from negative 16 to 90, negative 93, we need to have negative 77s. So I place negative 77, it will be s plus 4 times 7, 28, 2, it's 3, and it will be exactly 308. So it is equal to 0. Now here it's so much good because we have quadratic function here. If you can't factorize, you can use quadratic formula. But here we can easily factorize s minus 4, here s and s. So the product should be negative 77, their sum should be 4. 77 is 11, 4, so because it is plus 4, I place plus 11 minus 7. So from this part it is 0. So if I want to write all possible cases, s minus 4 is 0, or s minus 11 is 0, or third part, s minus 7 is 0. From first part, s equal to 4. From second part, s equal to 11. And from third part, s equal to 7. But the problem says what? find maximum x plus y, which is maximum s. So here, maximum s is what? s equal to 11. So it is our answer. Uh, as I said, there are some important ideas. If you want to learn them, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Also, you can use my other playlist to improve your problem solving. Please don't forget to subscribe. 
turn on the bell for having next videos and like the video if you had other solution you can comment below this video thanks for watching this video bye